part of the landing gear of a plane is shown below determine the compressive stress in the strut AB caused by a landing reaction R equals 36,000 pounds. Strut AB is inclined at 53.1 degree with BC. The, the strut is a hollow tube with outside diameter of 1.625 inch and inside diameter of 1.25 inch. So you are you are given this diagram and this is the, the strut AB so uh, this is the wheel of the lane so you ask to find the compressor stress in this uh, strut AB okay so first of all let's draw a free body diagram so I have this free body diagram so I have the, uh, the strut AB in the force acting on this strut so I assume that uh, because this says this is a compressive uh, because we are asking to find the compressive stress so the force in this one is compressive force that's the assumption you can draw it uh, pointing this way it's up to you it's just an assumption if you get a positive your assumption is correct if you got the negative your the direction of that force is just in the opposite direction okay and the angle between BC and AB is given as 53.1 degree okay so at B because this is a pin joint so you have uh, the force in oh, basically you have this force and this force can be broken down into X and Y component so in the X component I have F cosine theta in the Y component I have Y uh, F side theta okay and at C I see we you see that we have a, G, a pin joint so there's also uh, another force acting on this one uh, I would say acting on it like this and we also need to break this down into XY component which is why I have CX and CY here okay and don't forget the reaction force at the wheel which is 36,000 pounds now uh, as you can see uh, we have one one two three three anons so uh, if we sum it in the x direction we get two unknowns if we sum all the unknown reactions in the y direction we have two unknowns so i'm going to take a moment so where should i take the moment well uh, the best place to take the moment is at b okay you could take it at c because either one it will give you uh, it, it you can calculate for the unknown and there's only one unknown okay so at B uh, it eliminates this force and this force because there's zero distance here so I have only 36,000 pounds force in the CY force okay so I have 36,000 uh, assuming cl clockwise is a positive direction so I have 36,000 times 8 the distance between the wheel and B is 8 inches plus because this is downward so clockwise direction so I have positive CY times 18 the distance between B and C is 18 inches so calculate this I got CY equals negative 16 pounds this means that uh, my assumption is incorrect so it should have been pointing upward instead of pointing down okay so for now take, a mo take the summation about take the summation of FY so I have because this is in equilibrium so the summation of Fy is equal to zero so I have a uh, positive 36,000 pounds as it's pointing upward minus this downward force F side 53.1 minus Cy with Cy which is what we just found which is negative 16,000 so the negative side out front is the negative side of the direction of Cy and the negative inside the parentheses is the negative side of the value of CY okay so don't get confused about this and set them equal to zero so then you thought then you phi F equals this uh, expression so you can calculate this out but I like to leave it like this because I don't want to uh, route it in the intermediate steps okay so uh, let me see if I am about to calculate this one I will get 6502.6 pound okay now 
the compressor stress is equal to the force divided by the area okay so the force is what we just found 6502.6 files in the area so what is the area of the strut ab well the area because this is a hollow strut so the area is the area outside minus the area inside okay and there and this is a, a circular strut so the area of a circular is pi over four times the distance squared uh, the, the diameter squared okay so uh i have a pi over four times the, the diameter outside diameter squared minus pi over four times the inside diameter squared doing this calculation i got a 768 pounds per inch square which is also in uh, which is also can be expressed as psi okay so that is the the answer that's it if you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.